Hello everyone. Welcome to another live stream here at my YouTube channel. My name is Christina Werner and today we're going to be creating three different cards using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. It's one of my favorite designs that I've contributed to the latest release because it is so versatile and there are a lot of different things you can do with it. So I thought I would create three cards that I sort of dreamed up while I was creating the stamp set. So I will show you what you can do with it. I've sketched out my three ideas right here. Hope you guys can see that. I've got three different ideas and I'm going to be um, cutting out or I would die cut these images if I had the dies, but I don't have the dies. Uh, in my craft room. So I'm going to be fussy cutting these out, but I have a few images that I need to color so I can cut out and then we're going to start putting these cards together. We're going to start with these images right here that I've already stamped on some white cardstock with black Copic friendly ink. I will be using Copics today, but you could use colored pencils. I mean, you could watercolor this. We're doing really simple coloring. We're not doing anything too crazy when it comes to the coloring but these are all of the images that you know when I planned out my cards these are all of the things that I would need to cut out so I just went ahead and pre-stamped them I used Simus to stamp intense black ink uh, just to make it so it's friendly for Copics and we're going to get into the coloring I'm going to color these pencils very traditionally I'm going to pick out a couple yellow shades that look like a yellow pencil. All right, so Y13, I'm just coloring over the entire pencil. And I'm going to add a little bit of shading with a purple, which seems a little odd. But this is a great way to do really simple shading is to just color all one color. And then shadows generally have a little bit of purple in them. So you can use a little bit of purple when you go to shade your images. All right, so I'm gonna go on to that eraser, RB32. I have collected and amassed a large collection of Copics, but I'm just going to keep them here <laughs> and we're going to be using them a little bit later. I think I'll push them off to the side for this card right here. So a marker and a pencil, I'm going to give it a white outline. And then over here, which has the scissors and the pencil, I'm not going to have an outline, mostly because I plan to stamp the little paper clip. And the paper clip is going to be stamped directly on the card. So I it won't have a white outline. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right up against the line. But you notice there's interior on these scissors. So I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. And try to go right around the interior of the scissors with an X-Acto knife. This is also going to get rid of any of that over coloring. So I'm just being really careful to go around. Is it seeming, oh, it is going all the way through. I was wondering, I'm like, this isn't even cutting. I just replaced the blade in my Tim Holtz craft knife. Oh, that cut out really well. Wow, that, didn't, that surprised me. I'm just leaving a little bit of a white margin around these. 
And then for the mental note, I don't trust myself to get a really even cut around this without sketching it out. So I'm going to add just a pencil line around these words. And then when I cut it out, I'll follow the pencil line. And if any pencil is showing after I cut it out, then I can just use an eraser. Ta-da, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside, all of my little cut pieces. Let's, let's start with this card up here. It's a five by seven, and I've done a little bit of prep work. If you notice in my notes, I said um, lined notebook. So I'm gonna take this stamp from the stamp set and I'm gonna stamp it right on the edge of my card and you can repeat the stamp, which is great. I'm gonna stamp it right on the edge of my card and make the entire card front look like a lined notebook. I'm gonna put it on a sticky mat just cause it'll make it easier to, to keep everything in place. So I'm gonna put my card front, total card front, it's like folded. <laughs> And I'm gonna bring this over here. Okay. And I'm going to use Versafine Onyx Black Ink just because that's a really, um, like you can get a really good impression the first time you stamp, I think. It's my go-to black ink, as long as I don't need it to be Copic friendly. And we're not doing any Copics on this one, so we're all good. Okay. There we go. Looks like I got a little bit of black on that edge, but not a huge deal. Have it just hang out the bottom of my Misty. You can see it's hanging out the bottom here. And I'm gonna line this up just so I can get the last two or three little bits of that. Okay, and I only need like two. So I'm just gonna ink up those last two. Stamp down, and we're all good. We'll move on. Okay, so I remember I mentioned those pencil marks down the side. We're gonna draw some lined, some lines down the card now. ready to put this together. I'm just going to do a bunch of erasing. Okay, so to assemble this, um, I wanted to have it say, have mental note and then a, a black strip of cards with a greeting on it below. So let's stamp that greeting right now. And now I have this little strip ready to go. I'm going to cut off the ends. And then we're gonna start assembling this card. Okay, so I've already cut out a circle to go right on the card. This is actually, let's see, Rainforest cardstock from Lawn Fawn. And I just used one of Simon's nested circle dies for that. Alrighty. Thinking right about there. This other little strip of foam. I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit and then I can double up on the foam on the end with the eraser. So now it should lay flat. So there's the first card. All right, let's do the other card. This next one um, actually has a little bit of stenciling and some masking. And I thought this would be a really fun way to create another one of those notebooks, but on the front of the card. I've got my note card here, and then I've also got some masking paper. I even marked it as masking paper. And I'm gonna, I've, it's cut to an A2 card size, but you really don't have to have it this big. You'll see why in a minute here. But basically, 
I want to create like mask off where the note paper would be. So that looks about right. Mask that off. I'm gonna do some stenciling. So I'm gonna put down my a slick surface that will be great for masking and I'm just gonna let that hold the cardstock in place. I'm gonna use the Simus' Stamp Geometric Arcs stencil. I thought that'd be a fun one. And I'm going to just place it over the entire card front and then use a little bit of tape to hold it in place on that mat. I've got three colors of ink that I've decided to use. I'm using Lime Malicious, Surf, and Galaxy, all from Simus' Stamp. we can peel this up. Oh, I do like that. It does kind of look like there's a little bit of a shadow. I love that. Okay. Back to the stamp set. I'll grab that notebook edge. And this time I want that black line right on the edge of my white area. Going back to my VersaFine. A little bit ink up here. So I'll stamp down. And I'll use that same ink again, Versifying. There we go. That right there. And then the scissors can go right here. And I'm just going to turn the card over and I can cut off the excess. And there's card number two. Yay, I like that. Colorful without being like crazy colorful all over the board. For the very last card, it is a complete, here are the two cards so far. The very last card is actually a single layer card. Just I'm just going to be stamping it and then just coloring the supplies with Copics. So this one is also an A2 sized card. that down really well. There's one spot right right in here that didn't quite stamp well so I'm gonna make sure I concentrate on pressing that area down. Using that same black ink just so everything matches. I mean blacks are generally pretty good but sometimes if you use two different black inks on one card you can see a little bit of a difference. Perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna use a sentiment from a different stamp set, but with the same style as the other two cards. It's this stamp set right here, and it is the Big and Bold stamp set. Once again, using that same black, Simus' so Stamp Intense Black. And I'll likely have to stamp this a couple of times. And one more, just for good measure.
All right. So the last thing to do is to adhere this to a card front and then we're all good. Okay, so here's my card front. I'm just going to use some Tombow Extreme Adhesive and this is why I'm doing it on a separate piece of paper because it bled through on the back. All alcohol markers will do that unless you use a really particularly thick piece of cardstock. Like I do have some cardstock that doesn't bleed through, but okay. Perfect. I'm going to take my black marker and just blacken up a couple little spots that didn't want to stamp solidly. So let's look at all three cards for today. So here are the cards for today's live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, these were super fun to put together. I think there are so many different things that you can do with that particular stamp set. And I am hoping I can break it out again sometime soon and make some more. So thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another card video.